Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to scale up and scale down Azure SQL database by using Azure Data Factory. Why we would like to do that? Because maybe you are running some copy activity that you're writing tons of data to the SQL side and it's taking a whole lot of time. Or maybe you're running some merge statements on the Azure SQL database after loading the data and that's taking a long time to run. So you want to scale up and perform all those activities and later maybe you want to scale down so you can save some money on that one. So in this video, that's what we are going to learn. So this is a URL that you you will be using to uh, in the web activity to perform that operation um, so you can change your subscription here subscription id here and then uh, your resource no, uh, group name is going to go there then your sql name is going to go right there and then your database name is going to go right there we are going to do all that uh, in the video let's go ahead and take a look uh, first of all uh, here is my azure data uh, portal uh, and uh, i have uh, this uh, database called the tech brothers server so this server has a different uh, databases, right? So it is just a name of a server, but actually there are databases that those are uh, with a different pricing tier. So see right there, it's the uh, Tech Brothers DB and uh, the basic uh, pricing tier it is applied. Uh, now, if I go and connect to the SSMS uh, here, I'm connected to the Tech Brothers uh, server. And uh, here, uh, if I will go and check uh, uh, my database properties, uh, such as addition as service tier, and uh, computer size uh, so i can run this uh, statement uh, and it's going to return me that um, so you can see that uh, the service tier is basic and computer uh, is also basic uh, so there are uh, things you can do here you can change that if you want uh, so if i click right there uh, and then uh, so if i click right here on compute and storage and that's where uh, i can see that it's a basic right there right and uh, now you can see some information right there as well uh, now if i want to change to this uh, let's say if i want to go journal purpose and i want to scale compute up uh, uh, i can change to journal purpose and you see right there now it is a gen 5 journal purpose uh, that's it is changed uh, and you can see that gp gen 5 2 so if i will increase the uh, v course here so that's uh, where it is increasing this number so that's where I will let's say if I want to go ahead and increase to 58 or 56 or whatever I can change that uh, and then once I'm done uh, with everything uh, I can come back uh, and uh, put it back to the basic uh, so that's what uh, I want to do here now I'm going to go right there on the server and uh, here is our uh, database and uh, now what we will do uh, we'll just uh, let this uh, stay as it is uh, and we'll copy the information whatever is we needed uh, now let's go to the azure data factory here uh, in the azure data factory we're going to create a new pipeline uh, and uh, here i'm going to go to pipeline new pipeline and uh, here uh, we will bring uh, the web activity so by using the web activity first uh, we are going to a scale up as i showed you last time here in the query it is basic tier and basic computer so what i want to do i want to do a general purpose okay gp and uh, uh, gen uh, 5 and then here is uh, my b cores so if uh, i showed you already that you can uh, copy kind of play with right there and whatever fits you you can copy the exact uh, uh, cpv cores and all that information from there so uh, this is what you are going to provide there and then you are going to provide tier so uh, general purpose and then you are going to provide location there so this is important for us to put in body now from here uh, let's go and uh, first of all we are going to bring the web activity and I'm going to call this uh, scale up db okay so that's the name and go to settings here and in the URL I have to build that URL with the information so you are going to have used this URL, then you are going to use the, your uh, subscription ID here. So if I go back uh, and uh, get the subscription ID, I'm going to go right here. I can click uh, here on settings. Uh, actually, I can go to the Azure Data Factory and uh, click uh, right there. And it will show me my subscription ID. That's the same subscription ID uh, my database says. So I'm going to copy right there. And uh, now once I the subscription id here then uh, i have to provide the resource group so here i'm gonna go and put my resource group so let me go back here and uh, in the resource group uh, if i go back here um, go to the home and here's my resource group tech RG. so that's where my database is 
I'm going to copy, go right here and provide my resource group. And here I will be providing my server name. So it is, uh, if you guys remember that, that's tech versus uh, uh, server. So that's where it is, right there. So it says server. Copy that. Come back to the this place, paste. And now we have to provide the database name. And the database name is tech versus DP. So I can click right here and copy. And here we can provide that. The rest of the um, URL part, the API version 2017-10-01 preview, that's going to stay as it is. So we will copy this entire path. I already have put this uh, in the uh, notepad, but also I will put in the description. So all this information will be in the description. So you can copy paste from there. So let's go to the cancel this out and put this one in URL. And the second, once you are done, and here we are going to use the put method. Now, in the header, we are going to provide this information. Uh, we are going to say content type is going to be application and slash JSON. So right there. And here it's going to be application slash JSON. Copy, bring it here. And that's where your body is going to go. So remember that we want to go to the uh, from basic to the general purpose and with the v cores uh, 6. So I'm going to copy that and uh, put it here. So th that should do it. And uh, now uh, this is what you're going to see in this. And my uh, region is East US. So here auto resolve is just fine. In the authentication, now we are going to go manage identity. So in the manage identity, and now we are going to put the resource here. Um, let's see. Copy. And here I go back and put it there. Now, this is all good. It's going to upscale, right? So then uh, we maybe want to use some other activities such as copy or maybe wait activity here and all that in middle and perform all those activities here. And then uh, eventually we want to, um, let's say, this estimated the metric space duration. Uh, let's uh, go with the... settings maybe only uh, to five seconds okay and then uh, we are going to copy this uh, and go back to the basic so we paste it here and then uh, you change or connect uh, your next activity to the down scale scale down okay and here db and now you will not be changing a whole lot. Uh, you will be just going to settings here, and instead of the uh, name here, basic tier, and uh, your uh, per the journal is also going to be basic. So your computer is basic, and your uh, tier is also going to be basic. So just basic, basic. That's what we are going to put there. Okay. So I already have that in here that you are going to see right there. So we are all good here. First, we are scaling up, and you can see that. Uh, we are scaling up from basic to the this compute, and uh, the tier is going to be general purpose. And uh, then, uh, uh, actually, this was not supposed to go there because uh, I had to. okay. And in this scale down also, this was not supposed to be there. Okay, so that should be it. It now let's uh, what we can do. We can put. Uh, as kind of stop here and just execute so it will only scale up first but in the real world you're going to run the whole thing so you're going to run scale up run your activities here and then scale down so now you can see that it failed and i believe it failed because uh, the manager do not have authorized to perform action so write scope and all that so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the server here and then in the server i'm going to go to the access uh, control I am and here I'm gonna go add a role and I am going to find contributor fine and then uh, go to the manage identity next and then I'm gonna select my Azure Data Factory so here's my tech the ADF I selected that and assign so that should take care of our manage entity part of it and permissions so now we are trying from basic to the general purpose and uh, increasing the number of v cores uh, by using this uh, settings uh, so this is a url uh, we prepared in our 
SSMS here and then we have provided the header content then we have body is this one so we are going there and then in the resource we use manage entity and provide this the management.azure.com so this is uh, going to work right now it's in, uh, in progress so how you check that uh, you can go right here in the resource group and go to the server and then uh, you go to the database and uh, you can see right there basic and then click here and if you see you can see right here it's called online updating database pricing to here so you see right there you can click right there and it will show you the progress so, so this is just the way you want to see you know on your end uh, um, um, like if you want to come back to the portal and see but you really don't need to see it here so it says 25 percent done so once this is completed then we should be able to go back to the database and instead of basic uh, then it will be showing us uh, right here general purpose and the v core so I'm not sure why it's not uh, showing that anyways let's go back to our uh, ssms and we can check here and now you can see that uh, the service tier and compute has changed uh, uh, from basic to the gp5 and all that so we can refresh and uh, we should be able to access the data as well shouldn't be problem so go to tables and now it has uh, upscaled our database so there is no table here so i'm going to go back and just refresh my portal and uh, we should be fine to see the information on the portal as well so here is our server and then uh, in the server we have databases and you can see right there tech brothers it's online and uh, the change from the from the basic to the general purpose and uh, generation 5 and v uh, 6 v cores so that has the change if you notice here uh, if i go back to my uh, adf uh, it has completed as well and it took uh, one minute to some time so it and then it stopped here because we don't want it to run this one down scale okay so that's fine and uh, what's going to happen now i'm going to just uh, let's say we want to downscale now so i can simply um delete this part because i don't need this uh, you know that how this works so so i can run to downscale and the uh, same url what we have used here and uh, this is exactly the same uh, our subscription resource group and all that and then we have same code here the only part we are changing back to the basic so i'm clicking right here and you can see right there name uh, basic and uh, then uh, basic in the uh, uh, this is a uh, your uh, service uh, sorry this is your tier and this is your computer so this is uh, also we have set to basic and all that and now it should work fine so I'm going to go ahead and debug and it should start uh, and it should uh, put our database uh, from general purpose to the basic. So let me see what happened here. The after parsing unexpected corrector. Okay. So let me see what uh, we made a mistake here. So I'm going to go ahead here. So yeah, we were mi missing this uh, tier keyword here. That's why. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and uh, just leave this part here. So uh, this is exactly what you need to, to put it basic. So I will put, leave this in description so you can copy from there. So now it is working. And uh, one thing I noticed so when I was uh, changing from basic to the general purpose and uh, more compute, uh, it uh, finished in like a couple of minutes, right? But when I was reverting it back, uh, that's where it took longer time. Uh, so if I go to databases here, go to these. Right now it's a general purpose gen 5, 6 week course, right? If I click right there, and uh, now we can see that online updating uh, database pricing tier. So if I click right there, it says 59%. And sometime I come back and I see it, was, it went back to 25% again. Um, so not sure what uh, is the you know, science behind that part. But uh, anyways, uh, let's see how much time it takes. Last time uh, I was doing this, uh, it took me almost uh, 32 minutes. Uh, maybe this time it's faster. I do not have any table in this database. So, so let's wait for it. So if you guys see there, there's 25%. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this, refresh, and uh, now it should be done. It's been a while. Uh, 
I went ahead and I took my breakfast or I ate my breakfast and came back. So I'm gonna go back here, go to SQL Server again, go to databases and uh, still it's uh, stuck there. So let's see how many minutes is gone. It's uh, 26 minutes uh, and I was telling you guys last time it uh, took uh, around 32 or maybe 35 minutes uh, uh, to put it back or scale it down. So it's still taking time, let it take time and uh, we, if we go back here the status here is confusing so don't worry about that I have seen first 59% then 25% so it's not really uh, you can say 100% what's going on under the hood let's check that again and uh, see if uh, it has been completed successfully let's go right here and uh, now we can see that it completed in 31 minutes um, so it lower the scale down the database um, now let's go to database here and uh, here we are gonna go to server, go to databases, and uh, let's see, refresh right there. And uh, click on databases, and you can see that the pricing to your has changed to the basic. Uh, now we can go back to the SSMS and run this query. So once uh, we run this query, it is gonna show us uh, the service tier is basic and compute size is basic as well. Uh, so this is how you will uh, up, uh, scale up and scale down uh, Azure SQL databases uh, by using Azure Data Factory, by using web activity. And I will go ahead and put this uh, information in the description so you can copy and paste and uh, work it through. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.